here in Copenhagen. Um, we're in this very cute Airbnb. I love the Danish style. Very thoughtfully designed. We just landed at like 4 p.m. It's like 5.30 now. We're gonna go out to a bar. I have this nice dinner place booked for tonight and you're just gonna have a chill night. And then the rest of the week, to be honest, it's a, mainly a shopping trip. We're gonna be doing a lot of shopping. I've been here one time before and I know how good the shopping is here. So I'm excited to take Nate around to all the shops and pick up some new things myself. Oh, and lots of bakeries too. So look forward to that. Wow, the bakeries are so cute. Yeah, the bakeries are very cute. It's raining. Typical Copenhagen weather, unfortunately. I feel like all the reels I see of Copenhagen is like super sunny. And, but this is actually the reality. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Of course. Well, good thing it wasn't like this when we were kids coming over. Yeah. We got the langoustine watermelon feta salad, flatbread, guinea fowl, um, scallop crudo, and not for sure, but it's quick. It looks so good, oh my god. in bed and before I, I go to bed I'm already so tired but I just want to share we're experiencing the way that the Danish people sleep which is having two blankets so each person has their own blanket and then you won't have to fight the other person but also kind of sad I like stealing Nate's blanket oh well Good morning. We probably would have woken up much later if I didn't already make a breakfast reservation. And I kind of strategically did that because I wanted to go to Vera Market when it opened. So Vera Market is like a big like flea market that happens in Copenhagen. It's just like a bunch of people, they buy a stall. Um, and a lot, I heard that a lot of the people that go there, you know, Copenhagen people are already pretty fashionable, but there's a lot of people that work for like Ghani or like, you know, fashion brand, but also just like really fashionable people selling their old clothes, which um, I am always down for a good deal. And then the whole day is basically a big shopping day. <laughs> We're gonna go into like more the more central areas and go shopping there, but yeah, I'll take you along and show you all the stores I go to. Yeah, there is so many cute stores in Copenhagen. So many. Okay, 
I will wear something easy so I can try on clothes over my biker shorts. And if I take this off, I have a tank underneath. I need to try on any shirts. So nice today. I think Copenhagen's the best when it's sunny. back home to drop off all the stuff I bought. I bought so much stuff actually and I spent less than like 100 pounds. I think I spent like maybe 70 pounds total. It was like such a good deal. If you're in Copenhagen, you have to go to Vera Market. I mean like not everything was good quality but there was so much good quality clothing. Everyone's like I think also I like the Copenhagen style so everyone kind of has similar styles and there was a lot of like kind of like more brand names like Ghani, Acne, um, a lot of like Danish brands of course um, but yeah such a good deal. I'll do a little haul at the end of the night because we're gonna go out again um, but yeah so good. One minute it's nice, one minute it's really. Like, look at over there, it's a like blue sky.
it's our third day in Copenhagen. We are off to a bakery finally, hopefully. I actually don't know which one yet. I need to pick one. Um, there is so many on my list, but they're kind of in very inconvenient locations. I'm trying to find one today. Or it's like at a time of day that we cross it and you don't really want to bake to it. Or it closes. It also closes early. Anywho, I'm going to try and find one. Why are you hit it? Why are it's coming. Oh no. <laughs> Successful shop, bought a pair of pants and a really nice shirt. I think that street is really good for like the men's clothing. But yeah, now we're gonna get a little snack before we go to the next shop again. Today's just eating and shopping. shopping day and now we are headed to dinner. I booked this um, seafood restaurant that I went to last time when I was in Copenhagen. It was really good. We also caught the jazz festival here in Copenhagen. So we just stopped for a performance. Like it just coincidentally ran by one. We just passed by a bar that was doing it as well. So maybe we'll pop by after. Anyways, we'll see. But we have lots of packing to do tonight, I think. <laughs> we bought too much stuff.
All right, we're back at the Airbnb now. I am pretty pooped, but we need to pack. Somehow we're gonna need to stuff everything we bought into the suitcase. I did bring an extra bag. Um, we can also get buy another like carry-on if we need to, but let's see if we can stuff everything into the one extra carry-on that we have. Fingers crossed. Day three in Copenhagen. We're about to go for a run and then I have to work today. So I'm gonna work remotely from the Airbnb for a while because they actually uh, messaged us saying that they're gonna, I think they actually live here. So they were like, oh, we're gonna be back late. So feel free to late checkout, which is perfect. So I think I'm gonna work most of the day from this Airbnb and then move to a cafe at some point. But um, we have still the whole day because our flight is super late, um, which is, uh, it, it's good to get more time in, but also means that I'm gonna be exhausted tomorrow because we're gonna get to Stansted like right before midnight. But now we're gonna go on a run. This is my first run since my half marathon. We're gonna do a little easy run to a cute bakery because we haven't been to enough bakeries since we've been here. Let's go. I'm gonna get two of the cardamom bun. Yeah, um, do you have iced coffee here? I oh, okay, I can get two iced lattes. I'm back from Copenhagen. Let me show you guys a haul of everything I got. Honestly, I knew that going to Copenhagen, my main thing was going to go shopping basically because last time there was so much um, that I wanted to get and I wasn't prepared and there were so many places I wanted to go. And this time me and Nate just kind of wanted to take a chill vacation and I know he also loves shopping. So from the market, I got so many things. I'm so glad that's like the first thing we did because I think I would have spent so much money elsewhere <laughs> before the market. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put everywhere I went shopping and where I would recommend um, into my Substack. So I send that out as a newsletter with this video. I'll probably try and publish it around the same time. But yeah, I'll send a list of everywhere that I went and what I liked about it. But last time I went to a different market, which I can't recall the name of, and it was in a more affluent area versus like Vera Market is very popular, but it was in the city. Like everyone's still very fashionable. There were so many good finds, but I would say the quality, there was more fast fashion and less branded stuff versus when I went to the other market in the outskirts in like a neighborhood there was a lot of like branded items like totem jack moose but you know what I kind of preferred this one because everything was so so cheap and yeah anyways let me just show you guys what I got so the first stall 
I got... I feel like I got one more thing, but I can't remember. I think maybe I got these three together. Okay, I'm trying to recall what I got together. But I think I got these three together. Maybe. But first, I saw these pair of, like, silk shorts. And I've been wanting a pair of silk shorts to, like, wear with just, like, a plain t-shirt. Like, oversized t-shirt could be super casual. Honestly, you could wear these to bed. They're, like, super comfortable. Um, they're, I don't know this brand, but it was new as tag. And then I got um, this silver skirt, which I think was like really popular at one point. It's by the brand, um, gosh, I'm not going to pronounce it, but this brand, which is, you know, which is not a cheap brand. But I think this silver skirt, I've definitely seen it on like Pinterest or something. So I was like, ooh, I quite like this. And I wore this a few times already and really liked the fit of it. And then I got this little sweater here which I really like the fit of. Like it's kind of like off shoulder, so you can wear it with like just like a white tank and it kind of just like hangs like this, which is quite nice. Um, but yeah, so these three together was a hundred Danish crones, which is like 10 pounds, 11 pounds. So, so cheap. Actually, you know what? I don't think I got this with it. I don't think I got the sweater. I think this sweater I bought separately. Can't remember how much this was. And then um, at a different stall, I got this cute top. Um, so I think this is just honestly from, yeah, it's from Topshop. So even though there was like tons of fast fashion, I felt like their picks for the fast fashion, what they were getting rid of was just so much better than what I would expect um, from other markets that I've been to. And then I also got this like sweater vest. I think like people in Scandi countries love sweater vests, but I thought this was quite cute. Obviously it's not season for it. It's a bit oversized and I think it would look cute with like a white t-shirt under it. But yeah, these two together was actually supposed to be 70, but um, she didn't have change. So I just gave her a hundred for both of these. And then from another stall, I got, oh, I got a, Actually, I think that I, ha I bought a black top as well. I think that's in the wash, but I got like just like a regular black top. And then this is also from Zara, but I thought it was super cute. Um, a little like turtleneck. I feel like this looked really cute as a going out top with a black skirt, like black mini skirt. And then I got this other kind of like asymmetrical top. It's like something like this. And I think this would be just like, yeah, quite a, it's kind of like a thicker top and it's by the brand aware by veramoda i think this was like 20 danish crowns and this i can't remember but i definitely paid less than 100 for all three things together and then another side i got this like just zara dress shirt i just like the stripes on it it was very cute i already worn it in copenhagen um just like a nice oversized but not too boxy dress shirt and i think this was 50. Um, and then I got these a pair of shorts, which I think the seller might have made herself. I mean, there is a brand on here. It says like Made With Love by Mia Jacobson. So I think that is her. But this was a bit more expensive. It was 100, but I quite liked the patchwork on this. And I, it goes really well with the shirt that I bought. So quite cute. And then I got this H&M. Oh yeah, this is H&M, but I thought it was like a really unique H&M shirt. Um, so it's like, a, it's linen, it's really oversized, and then the shoulders are quite like, like that, where it, there's these little bows on it, and it's medium, but it's really, really large, and I just really like the look of it. And, and I'm pretty sure this was also 50 or less, because I remember being shocked at how cheap this was. I think it was might have been just like 20 or 30. Anyways, everything was so cheap. Everything I'm showing you all together at this market, I didn't spend more than like 60 pounds on everything for like over 10 pieces. <laughs> um, and then the last thing I bought, there was only one more thing I bought from the market, which was this um, kind of sweatshirt. I really liked the, I don't know, the Notre Dame on it. I don't know if this is authentic or not. I guess someone can tell me if it's actually from Notre Dame, like, but I just like how soft it is. I liked how kind of like old and worn it looked. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I was like thinking it would look really cute with just super casual with a skirt or like just with leggings or something, biker shorts, kind of like that princess, princess Diana look. And I think that's all I got from the market. Yeah, that's all I got from the market. 
outside of the market, we obviously went to quite a few stores as well. I didn't get that much more because honestly, I was pretty satisfied with what I got from the market. But there is this brand called Boy in Copenhagen and they're kind of like, price-wise, they're kind of like a Zara. And, but they sell like pretty kind of like more like basic Copenhagen style stuff. Like you can kind of find kind of like chic tank tops plus a bit of like Ghani inspired clothing there. So I got this um, top which is quite popular. I think the style was the bow in the middle. I think it was started by Ghani. Um, but yeah, I thought this was quite cute. And I think this was, if I can remember correctly, this might have been like 45 pounds equivalent, but I thought it was pretty cute and then with it I got these pair of white shorts that I thought would go with it as well um, Yeah, and I think these might have been like 30 pounds and then we went to one of those like nicer more curated secondhand stores and I got this very cute black dress really liked how this fitted it it can be dressed up or down and it just had a really nice cut and then the back is also open and lastly um actually nate bought this for me and they bought me and him matching ghani t-shirts he was inspired by this guy who's wearing a ghani t-shirt when we were um like out and about so when we went to ghani we decided to get a matching shirt well not exactly matching i got this one um it did there wasn't a large for him so he got like a white one with cherries on top that I also plan on stealing actually. And like Ghani t-shirts are actually really good quality I realized. I think that's actually all the clothing items I bought. Um, some little bits. I bought this pair of sunglasses from Samso and Samso. And, but actually I might be selling it because it's new and stuff. But actually when I went home I was like, oh, it doesn't quite suit my face shape because I have quite a like a long face. Um, so yeah, I might sell it. It looks like, okay, you tell me if, if I should sell it or not. It looks like this. I actually can't see myself because I just took off my glasses, but let me know what you guys think. Um, and then I went to this um, jewelry store that was recommended on TikTok called, what was it called again? Pilgrim. And they were actually having a sale. So I got these like a little bit more costumey earrings um for 50 percent off but they look like this and then i also just got a set of like normal studs because i have a piercings that fell out so i um like i have a second one here actually i should probably try and put it in now before it closes up but yeah i got some that i could potentially stack as well and then the last random thing i bought was a beach towel it was on sale at um, um, one of the department stores. I would say don't skip out in the department stores, especially if you're going during sales season. They have like a lot of different designers and a lot of things on sale, so it's definitely worth it to check it out. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna open it because it's so nicely packaged, but the design of the beach towel is basically this pattern and just look really cute. And look how small and convenient it is. I think I can like take it on trips and yeah, just very cute. I think this might have been like 10 pounds or something. It wasn't expensive. That's why I was like, yeah, let me just buy this beach towel. Anyways, that is all the stuff I got. Um, I will link everything in the substack. So check it out if you want to see everything I bought. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.